Welcome to Golden Nets Volume 9 on A Game of Control. Here we will explain and discuss in fine detail the importance of controlled movements. Controlling movements in the goaltender's positioning and save selection become important factors that will greatly impact the consistency of the goaltender's game. Understanding control and what it can do for you will change the way you think and read the game as you know it. We will accomplish this by allowing you to make better save selection and by reading and controlling the player's options through positioning and controlled body movement. Controlling rebounds means fewer shots and less chances to be scored on. Also, this will alleviate pressure on your defensemen. We have developed exercises and drills that will enable you to take more control of the game around you. In this episode, we will show you ways to control the puck as well as addressing your position in the net. When you control the depth in your position, it maximizes the coverage of the net and allows you to possess the opportunity to stop every shot taken at you. It is easy to spot a mature goaltender. Usually his control is so much better. Mature goaltenders do not chase after pucks that go wide unnecessarily and they are very patient in all game situations. They can also place pucks with a great deal of accuracy. The mature goaltender knows when to play the puck and when to set it up. The movements in which the goalie chooses to stop the puck would be referred to as his save selection. A goalie should have many ways in which to make a save. Some choices are best used in certain situations, while others become appropriate at different times during the game. When a goalie makes a save, he has a very short time to decide which move he will use to stop the puck. A goalie will handle a long shot on goal usually much different than one in close or when players are close by. On a long shot, there is much more time to read the puck, allowing much better control of the rebound and where it will be placed. But as the shooters are closer, there is less time to place the puck where you want it, but there is still time to react to the shot and move with the puck, gaining better position on a potential rebound. As the puck and players move even closer,